able to access them as well. Okay, Abu, uh, Abu, you have a question or something? Yes, Abu? Abu, are you there? Okay. Um, Chirabo Daphne, your hand is up. Sorry, Daphne. Yes, Daphne. Tisha, yes. I want to ask that every do you change a timetable? Okay. Every week, do you change a timetable? No, the timetable is fixed. It doesn't change unless we okay. make a formal communication about that. That's when we can change the timetable. Uh, Chirabo, Elizabeth, you have Excuse assistant. me, teacher. Excuse me, teacher. Yes, please. Yes, please. Okay, like we are, I'm done with the, um, like how should I send the, the work? Because I got confused about that. Okay, Chirabo got confused about sending the work. Now, when you are sending the work, I'm going to give you more other details, but for the start, after you, one, your work must be written on a piece of paper. When you write and work out your exercises, you're supposed to take a photo or you scan. Then you upload them. Now, we are going to give you guidelines also at the end of the lesson, but for the minister, for the start, you need to know that you take a photo of that work. After taking a photo, you're supposed to put it back in that application, load it in that application. Then afterwards, we shall tap on the option of upload or submit where we shall be able to, where I will be able to receive that work. Like most of you have tried to, to do it. Eh? I've seen a couple of you doing so. Okay. But he still are also talking more about he sending the work and also trying to uh, join the classroom and accessing the other work as well. All right. Uh, thank you, Miriam. Are you asking something, Miriam? Um, no, teacher. Okay. Um, uh, Trigam Aziz. Aziz? Yes, what, yes, what I was like saying that if after I'm done with the work and sending it and then it's marked, do I get the feedback of it, see how I performed in it? Yes, you get the feedback immediately. Like some of you have been getting the feedback, other people have been getting the feedback, but the others, those who submitted late have not yet received the work. But when you submit your work, I mark it. And after marking, it is sent out as well. Okay, so um, thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Okay, now um, those who have other questions, please you can try to proceed and then you check through and then see, okay? Now, um, still I'm looking, we are proceeding with our work and we are looking at the, the fraction part of it. And the, under the fractions, we said we are looking at the, the different things that we can do under that. So let's take a look at our screen here. Let's take a look at our screen here.
Excuse me. I'm hearing nothing. Oh, with a sweet and a rose. Hello? Are we able to listen now? I was, there was some bit of the sound error here. Are we there? Okay. Is the screen on now? So um, we said this is uh, what we had looked at and had seen some of your work uh, that has uh, been brought up. And uh, those, who are, those who are just joined, I request that he, we try as much as we can to go through those given notes that I've been sharing with you. Okay. So when you share those given notes, then you'll be able to work out the work uh, together. Now, uh, some of you have been handing in your work. Some of you have been handing in your work while others, it's been a problem when you've been handing in. So try as much as you can to work out those exercises and then you forward. Otherwise, if I do not check through, it will be quite difficult for us to be able to, to work through. Okay? Now, just a quick reminder, we looked at that bit of uh, the addition. Then we also looked at the part of uh, those of you who were there, we said when we are carrying on the addition, you try to multiply both up and then uh, you get the other part of the LCM and then after getting it, you're able to uh, get your result. Now, uh, should we, please do not, you, you pay attention, then you write a few things that you can, and then afterwards you'll be able to, uh, to proceed, okay? Try as much, you try to follow Timothy, Timothy says, should we, no, please you try to follow as you take note of some of the things here and then afterwards 
I'll be able to work out. So when we talk about the subtraction, and the, we are talking about subtraction of the, of the fractions with the same denominator, okay? Uh, okay, can we be quite more louder? Okay, let me set something here. Some people are not seeing. So those who have started today, I'm saying that please just try as much as you can for the work class. Now let's look here. Now when do we have all these, we said when we have these mixed fractions here, try as much as you can. This is how we work out. When you have a mixed fraction here, you add this plus the other, we just combine the two because they uh, do not, they, 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 okay, here. If we have a mixed fraction here, like for example, if you're adding this plus the other one, the whole number plus this, we combine them and then we get our result there. Then um, when do we have, uh, if there are two and they are mixed in nature, please, what you do, you turn them into the improper. So for example, here you can say three times the five plus this then you'll get 17 out of the five plus this one, which will be 11 out of the seven. So in so doing, you'll be able to uh, come up with the LCM and then you solve that. Now, um, afterwards, you try to continue solving and then you come up with your answer clearly. But to remember, Okay. Remember when you are trying, like for example, when you are doing the bit of the, the multiplication, okay? when we are doing the, when you are doing the multiplication, okay? when you're doing the multiplication, take an example, when you have this and you're doing the multiplication, you just, keep reducing, you can even say one out of the three, if it is times the six, okay? You can say out of one, and then you say this is equivalent to, okay? You multiply up and then you multiply down, and then you come up with six, one times six, you come to six, and also three times one, you come to three. Then you reduce it down. Now, when you multiply, please ensure you reduce down to the lowest term possible. Okay, so this will be by this, this will be one, and then this will go this into two. So our answer here, we shall have two. Okay, so when we are multiplying, please, when we are multiplying, we just keep reducing it down until we come up with the correct answer. Okay, now, um, as we said, what happens when we have mixed fractions together? Now, what we're doing, we're trying to do the part of the multiplication. Okay? What happens when you are carrying on the, the multiplication? Um, we are too speedy. Okay, let's go slowly now. We are saying, when you're multiplying mixed fractions, okay, when you are multiplying mixed fractions, what you do, you keep, you reduce them. The first of all, you can turn it into an improper fraction. After turning it into an improper fraction, 
you reduce it down. Take an example. When you have this two, three out of five, can someone turn this one into a mixed fraction for us? Sozi. Yes, Sozi. What is this one into a mixed fraction? Sozi, Jesse. Into a mixed fraction, get the seven times the three. So I was telling you people that don't? say by drinking water. We are looking you at get this. One. It is mm -hmm. five times five times two is ten. Then ten Are plus three, that is thirteen over five. Ah, uh -huh, yes. it will be uh, ten out of what? Over out five. Of the five. Which five is out of five. Out of the five. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, when when you get that, you, when you get this one here, okay, you are thirteen out of the five. Multiply it by. You also turn this one into an improper fraction. Let me have someone to convert this, Paul. Yes, Paul. Paul, are you there? Twenty-two Paul, out of seven. It is what? Twenty. Twenty-two out of seven. Twenty-two out of the seven. Good. Okay. So you multiply it by twenty-two. Okay out of the seven. So in so doing, what do you do in such a case? Multiply the numerator, then of the denominator. So when you multiply, if you cannot reduce it down from here, what you do, you multiply directly. So when you multiply 13 by 22, what do you get? I want someone to type that one. Type for us the answer. Type in your chat, type in the chat faster. Type, just type, don't raise up the hand. Type the answer. Type the answer. Okay, I'm waiting for the first person to type the answer. Okay, who is typing the answer first? 22 times 13. Good. 286. So this will be out of 5 times 7. Ah, we are on five times seven. We are on five times seven. Where are we? Five times seven. Thirty-five. Correct. So you can reduce this one down. We must. We, we can reduce it down to its simplest form, or you can even leave it there. Okay. But literally, you would have come up with your answer at this moment here. So it's important that we need to know how to do the conversion from improper to proper and vice versa. Okay, that's what I want us to get to know. Okay. Now, um, still, when we talk about division, please, we are summarizing up this because we've looked, I've seen some of your exercises, eh? you, you, you've tried to do this. But he, some of you have not done it so well. So that's why I'm trying to go through this work here. Uh, yes, Paul. Paul, your hand is up. Yes, Paul. Okay, Aloysius. Yes, Aloysius. Yeah, I wanted to do that that number of or uh, a third divided oh, by four over five. Okay, good. Now, when we have when we do the divisions, when we are doing the division, okay, when you do the division, the simple thing is maintain the first one here, okay, and then you turn this sign to multiplication and then you get this one you turn this one you flip the second fraction flipping is getting the denominator making it a numerator and the numerator the denominator reciprocal okay you make it the reciprocal so this will be this will be equivalent to one out of three Okay, you see where there is multiple division, you turn it into multiplication. Okay, then you take five up. So it will be five out of the four. This is called the reciprocal. 
okay? the reciprocal, taking the numerator to be the denominator and the denominator to be the numerator. Okay, so here, when here you'll get your answer, but as such it says, it will be five out of the 12. Correct. And this is what we shall be able to get. Therefore, the trick when you're multiplying, I saw someone who's exercise and you didn't do it well. I'm going to mention that person, but check your division. Division is different from multiplication. Okay, you get the reciprocal of the second value, then you get your answer. Okay, that's how you do the multiplication. Now, um, someone was someone we wanted to work out now together. Now, let's do this together. Um, Arinaitwe, who is Arinaitwe? Let me get Arinaitwe. Is it Richard? Arinaitwe, Richard. Yes. Uh huh. You're now unmuted. So, you had a question? No, I wanted to work out that one. Very nice. Uh -huh. Now, can you work out for us this one here? Give us the formula here, what we shall do. Mm -hmm. We are going to multiply by the reciprocal of the second number. Uh huh. What do we do? Mm -hmm. Start. This six out of 11. Six out of 11. Mm -hmm. Times two out of one. Times two out of one. Uh -huh. And this will be equal to? 12 out of 11. 12 out of 11. Okay. Thank you very much, Harry Okay. So class, this is what you'll be able to get. Okay, this is when we are multiplying. Now, members, we are going to get numbers that are going to have all those things there multiplication, division, subtraction. We are going to come to that and we say how we solve them. Okay, uh huh. Now, we are continuing. I'm going to pick on another person to solve another one here. Uh huh. This one is for who, who, who is this one? Who wants to work out? Who wants to work out? Ndifuna Ismail. Ismail? Yes. Uh -huh. Can you give us a new work out this one? Mm -hmm. uh, going to uh, nine out of seven uh, out of seven. Nine out of seventeen. And uh -huh. Uh -huh. Timers. Pardon? Times one three. One out of three. Uh huh. So this will be equal to. Mm -hmm. What would the answer be there? Seventeen times three will give us fifty three. Fifty one. Uh -huh. Nine times one will give us, which is going to equal to nine out of fifty-one. Nine out of fifty-one. Uh huh. Can you be able to reduce this now? Can you reduce it now? Uh huh. Chirabo has reduced it to three out of seventeen. Mm, so I think I can stop there. You can stop there. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Ismail. So you can reduce it. You, you reduce your answer to this. By the way, you can also, once you get an improper fraction, you can also turn it, so you can turn it into a mixed fraction, as we saw earlier on. Uh -huh. Thank you, Ndefona. Another, another one for another one, another person. Remember, we are concluding all this to see how best we can be able to solve our numbers. Uh -huh. We are here. This is for Joanna. Joanna, are you there? Is Joanna there? Joanna. Joanna, can you unmute? Oh, Joanna is not there. Choose me, Sean, 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 Sean. Joanna, are you there? Joanna is not there. Sean, 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 Sean. Yes, Sean. Uh huh. Showing the platform is yours. 
Shaun, can you unmute? Yes, Shaun. Hey, Shaun has disappeared. Okay. Uh, let's choose Chirabo Elizabeth. Is it Chirabo Elizabeth? Uh -huh. Yes, teacher. Please. Uh -huh. So now, since the since that is a a mixed fraction, mm -hmm. we shall first change it. In, we shall change it into a, an improper fraction. We change this one into an improper fraction. Okay. So this will be nine out of seven. Generally, nine out, out of, of seven. 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 Divide, divide by, five. by five out of one. Out of one. Good. Mm -hmm. Then which is equal to nine out of seven times one out yeah. of five. Out of seven times one. Times one out of five. Out of five. Good. Which is equal to nine. Which is equal to nine. Nine out of 35. Out of 30. Five. Thank you very much. Jerome. You're welcome, teacher. So, this is what we do have. Mm -hmm. At least most of you have got the technique now. So, class, when you have a whole number being multiplied by the fraction here, the sorry, divided, you put the whole number out of one. That whole number is out of one. Okay. Then you make the three out of one, the reciprocal. Okay. Now, um, we are moving on. So these are the exercises that you did. Most of you did this work last time. Now, there's something I want us to look at. We have what you call operations on fractions. Now, for example, much as we can be having a fraction, we are saying, how can we use these fractions here hmm, in our day-to-day -day interactions? How can we use them? Take an example. If they tell us, find hmm, one out of five of 10,000 sugar and shillings. Okay. Find one out of five of 10,000 shillings. Now, when we are out, when, when you see this, this of, okay, of is equivalent to multiplication let's mark that whatever you have this of this in mathematics this of this this of the other it means we are multiplying so when we say for example find one out of five of ten thousand it means you're getting one out of five times ten thousand okay that is why we are seeing of. So whenever you have of, that is what it tells us. It means you are multiplying by a certain value. So here, what you do, you just reduce it down. Okay. Uh, Chirab has already given us the answers 2000. I don't know, can other people confirm that? Can you also work it out and confirm that it is 2000? When you confirm that it's 2,000, Timothy says so, Chirabo Esther says so, 2,000. So what you do, you reduce this one here. By one, this is one. This one goes into 10, two times, eh? okay? Then the other two zeros. It is like 10,000 divided by five. Eh? So we shall, here your answer will be 2,000. Remember, don't forget your units. Your units is it? UGX, okay? It is UGX, so you also contain the UGX. So meaning it is Uganda shillings, 2,000. Uh, even if we get there, okay? So you just divide it, and then you get... Mm -hmm. Timothy, 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 work out the next number. Okay. Timothy, Timothy, are you there? Yes, please. Hey, so Timothy, what? How do we find four? Are we on B? Yeah? We are on B. So we get four out, out of, of five. Five. Okay. Times one hundred thousand. Times one hundred thousand. Okay. 
times 100,000. Mm -hmm. So five. you read once, once. Uh -huh. by yeah. five. 100,000, we have 10, which is what a multiple of five times twice. Which is twice, oh. which is 20,000. Mm -hmm. Yes. Then we'll multiply 20,000 times four, which will give us. Um, four times, four times, it is it? 80,000 80, Ugandan shillings. Thank you very much. Okay. So that is what we have. Okay. So, dear members, when you see of something, this of something, this is how we are solving. Now, here we are making use of the fractions. Now, we are making use of our fractions, okay, to ensure that we come up with the right thing. Now, we are still working on operations, on fractions. Now, let's take a look at this also. Look at this. We are saying in a test of 30 marks, Nassim got three out of five of the marks. Uh -huh. How many marks did she get? Uh -huh. We are now, our questions are expanding slowly, slowly, every now and then they are expanding. Now, we say that whatever you see of, it is multiplication, mark that in mind. So therefore we are saying, Nassim, the test is, okay? The test is out of the total of the test is equal to 30 marks, okay? And this person of the 30 marks was able to get three out of five, okay? Was able to get three out of what? Three out of five. So how do we find out how many marks did Nassim get? It means we shall get three out of five of the 30 marks. Okay, it is three out of five of the 30 marks. So therefore you will get three out of five, okay, three out of five times 30. People have, have the answers already. Uh-huh, what is the answer? Um, mark, 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 chivali, emma, kabale, emma, 18 marks, okay? So someone got 18 marks. Please don't say 18%. It is 18 marks. It is what the person got together. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is what you will do. Now I want us, the next one, we are all working outside and we we'll get one answer. Huh? I want us to get one answer. All of us are working out in our books. This next one here. Uh -huh. So I want in how many minutes in the, in one minute? Yes. Mm -hmm. In one minute, all of us silently. Actually, I want someone who is going to turn on a video and we see the working also. I want someone to turn on a video and then will show us the working. In his book, you show us on your book what you have done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Aha, uh -huh. you raise up your hand when your video is on and you share with us. Raise up your hand when your video is on and you give us the answer. I want to see what you've done on the screen here. Aha, uh -huh. you're going to show us on your book. Uh -huh. who, who has a video? Who has a video on? Aloysius? Hello, yes. I want someone who has 13. We have we are seeing answers, different answers, different answers. Uh who 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 who, who is there to give us the working? Who is there to give us the working? Uh-huh. Hey, we are waiting. People are sending answers. Eh? People are sending answers. Okay, Aloysius. Aloysius, are you there? Yes. Uh-huh. 
We are waiting for the answers. Uh -huh, the working. Hello, just give us the working. Okay. Let me take on Aloysius has failed. Yes. Okay. Aloysius has failed. Shadia, are you there? Yes, Shadia. Shadia, can you show us? Oh. Okay, you just share with us the answer. Share with us how you got it. Hey, people are not speaking. Mohammed. Mohammed, are you there? Okay. So, we yes, uh, people have got their answer as 33 people. 33 people are left handed. So here we are saying in a certain school, they will have 550 pupils. If three out of 50 of the pupils are left-handed, how many are left-handed? Okay, so meaning we shall get three out of 50, okay, of is times 500 and what? 550, okay? And here, Ben Super is saying we are getting 33 pupils. Okay. Okay, 33 pupils is what we have. So, class, this is how we are doing. In the case you get questions that are telling you to do that, <laughs> maybe it, this is what we are doing. Okay. In the case you have something like that, this is how you're running, doing about it. So, Okay, this is what we shall we have. Uh, maybe, uh huh. So we have this. Mm -hmm. If you say they saying a half of, we just say it is a half times twelve. Uh, one out of eight of it means we are multiplying. Okay. Now I want to take some questions before I show you something else here. I want to show you something here. Okay, I want to take your questions here. I'm starting with the Aloysius. You have a question? Those with the questions. Okay, let me first lower people's hands. Eh? Now, those with the questions, I want your hands up. Only those with the questions. Okay, so if you have a question, raise up your hand. Philip? Yes, Philip? Yes, Phil. Mm. Mm. Like when writing the, the units for shillings and we don't put the, but if when they put like USH and then we leave out the U, will that no. be wrong? You're, you are supposed to use the, the units that are given in the question. Okay, if they have said UGX, you also put UGX, don't you? I'll show me something else. Put what they have given you in the question. Even if it is a wrong unit, take it as it is. Okay. Okay. Yes. Uh huh. Another person, um, Elvin. 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 Yes, Elvin. Elvin, are you there? Elvin is not there. Okay. Um, Abigail. 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 Abigail is not there too. Uh, yes, Miriam. Excuse me. Yes. I think my, my question was answered. So thank okay, you. Okay. Okay. Hello. You're welcome. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. Hello, hello. Yes, teacher. You have a question? Uh, no, teacher. I just want to say bye. All right. Yes, Fred. Yes, Fred. Okay. So it seems people don't have questions. Eh? Nakato? Yes, teacher. You have a question? Teacher, how am I going to send my my work? 
it is what you, I'm going to show you that one at the end of the lesson. Eh? Okay, teacher. All right. Okay. Um, any other, any other? Okay, about this, we are asking questions about this. We're asking questions about this. Yes, Josh, Joseph Elvis. All right. Um, Excuse me, sir. Yes. Sir, do you have a WhatsApp group so that you can send me some work? Okay, we shall do that. We shall, I'll give you those instructions afterwards. Eh? Okay, thank you. Okay. So, members, um, you're not picking me. Who is this one? Did I, uh, not uh, Drake. Let me see Drake, 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 Drake. Yes, Drake. Can you speak? Uh huh. Yes, Peter. Jack. Yes. Peter, I was asking. Mm -hmm. Can we find this work on Google Classroom? Yes, it's going to be uploaded there. I'm going to upload it there. Mm, okay. 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 So, class. Um. Okay. Now we are done with that. Now I want to show you something that is going to summarize what happens when you have questions that are combined like you have a question which is having multiplication addition subtraction all of them are there together now i want you to i don't know if all of us remember the bit of the board mass this one is also going to be with us at some point in case you get it okay now I want to share with you something here, some little small video here. Let me show you some little small video here. And then please, I want us to pay close attention. Eh? And I'm also going to show you another method, how you can be able to add and also subtract. Please, you take notes and I'm going to ask for the questions. So I want you to all first lower your hands and you watch this. I want you to lower your hands and then you watch this and then you be able to see. Okay. Just saw your hands, and then you're going. I'm going to show you something here, and then you'll ask questions from that uh, from that point. Huh? Okay. Okay. Are we all seeing the screen? I hope we are all seeing the screen. Okay. I'm going to read you the, cl the class, the, the, that link, so don't worry about that. So are we, we are all able to see the screen. Are you seeing the screen? I need to see people who are seeing the screen. Yes. Hey, people are not seeing. Huh? Okay, let me share it again. Please just lower your hands. I will give you a session for that. Are we seeing the screen now? Yeah, good. So let's watch this video and we are going to learn something out of it. Okay. Welcome my viewer. In this video, we shall look at how we can handle the question above. The question states, without using a calculator or tables, simplify two and a half plus open bracket three out of five times one whole number and one out of four. Close the bracket. You divide it by one whole number and one out of eight minus three out of four. So I'm going to write the solution here. And then we shall say, let's convert all the mixed fractions to improper fractions. So you see that um, two and a half will give us, of course, we are going to multiply two times two plus one out of two. So we shall end up with five out of two. Also, one and a quarter will give us, we shall multiply four times one plus one out of four. So we shall end up with a five out of four. Also, one whole number and one out of eight will give us, we multiply eight times one plus one out of eight. So we shall end up with nine out of eight. 
So now when we combine everything, we shall have 5 out of 2 plus 3 out of 5 times 5 out of 4 divided by 9 out of 8 minus 3 out of 4. So now let's continue. I would say from both maths, we first have to simplify the terms inside the bracket. So we shall have 5 out of 2 plus the terms inside the brackets are 3 out of 5 times 5 out of 4. So we are dividing it by 9 out of 8 minus 3 out of 4. So now let's first handle the terms inside the bracket. So we shall have 3 out of 5 times 5 out of 4. So we shall have 3 times 5 divided by 5 times 4. Of course, we are multiplying the numerators separate and as well as the denominators also separate. So we shall have um, 3 times 5 out of 5 times 4. We cancel the 5 because 5 is common in both the numerator and then the denominator. So we shall end up with 3 out of 4. So now resulting in 2, if we substitute now that we shall have 5 out of 2 plus 3 out of 4 divide by 9 out of 8 minus 3 out of 4. So now we shall have, let's first deal with the numerator. You see that we have 5 out of 2 plus 3 out of 4. We get the LCM of the denominator. The LCM is 4. 4 divided by 2, you have 2. 2 times 5, you have 10. Plus 4 divided by 4, you have 1. 1 times 3, you have 3. So adding the numerator, we shall have 13 out of 4. So now let's also go and handle the denominator. Of course, in the denominator, we have 9 out of 8 minus 3 out of 4. Also, we are going to get the LCM of 8 and 4. So the LCM is 8. 8 when divide by 8, you get 1. 1 times 9, you get 9. Minus 8 when you divide it by 4, you get 2. 2 times 3, you get 6. So 9 minus 6, we have 3. And the denominator will be 8. We maintain it that way. So now combining the results from the numerator and the, de the denominator, we shall have a 13 out of 4 as the numerator we are dividing it by 3 out of 8 as the results we obtain from the denominator so we shall have 13 out of 4 we are dividing it by 3 out of 8 so you know when we are dividing the fraction we have to uh, multiply by the, the reciprocal of the divider so we shall have 13 out of 4 times 8 will go up and 3 will come down so we shall have 8 out of 3 we may cancel this uh, 8 we may cancel with 4 we shall have 2 so now we are going to have 13 times 2 you get 26 out of 3 times 1 you get 3 so we may end up with 26 out of 3 so when we convert it into mixed fraction we shall have 8 all numbers and 2 out of 3 thank you so much for watching this tutorial don't forget to like subscribe and comment on my videos okay i hope we understood that Mm, just something very simple. Now, this was uh, trying to show us what happens. Okay. This was trying to show us what happens when you combine, when you have all the things combined together. Okay. We can easily. Now, I'm going to send you this uh, video. Uh, you can go and watch it on your own. Okay. You can go and those who are saying it is very fast and everything. I want you to go and then you, I'm sending you that link eh, right now. Eh? Uh -huh. So go and tap on it and then you're going to rewatch it. Okay, you're going to rewatch it and then you'll be able to see what happens. Now, just one more thing, one more thing before we finish, especially for those of you, okay? Especially for those of you who have just joined us. Let's look at this. Just one more thing before we Who's ready we to chat. hatch some cool pets? Oh. Click here to make your Okay. I don't know if you are here. Let's look here. We are going to learn something very small for those who have just joined us, especially those people. Are we seeing the screen? Is the screen seen? Yes. Okay. Thank you. So let's look here. Very fast. In this video, we're going to focus on 
adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing mixed numbers or mixed fractions. So let's start with our first example. 3 and 1 fourths plus 2 and 3 fifths. How can we add these two fractions? And there's two ways in which you can do it. 3 and 1 fourths is basically 3 plus 1 fourth. 2 and 3 fifths is 2 plus 3 over 5. So we can add 3 and 2, and that's going to turn into 5. And then separately, we can add 1 fourth and 3 fifths. But we need to get common denominators. But for now, let's rewrite it. So 1 fourth and 3 fifths are improper fractions. One way in which you can add two improper fractions is you can multiply 1 and 5 and 4 and 3, which is 12. And then you can multiply the two denominators. 4 times 5 is 20. 5 plus 12, that's 17. So it's 17 over 20. So 1 fourth plus 3 fifths is 17 over 20. And 5 plus 17 over 20 is 5, 17 over 20. So that's how you can add two mixed numbers. Now keep in mind, another way in which you can add 1 fourth and 3 fifths, if you do not like that first technique, you can do it this way. You can uh, get common denominators. So we can multiply the first fraction by 5 and the second fraction top and bottom by 4. So 1 times 5 is 5, 5 times 4 is 20, and 3 times 4 is 12. 5 plus 12 is 17, so we're going to get the same fraction 17. But our final answer is still going to be the same. So you can use either of those two techniques to add two improper fractions. Good. Now let's try another example. Got that? I hope we've all got that also. Uh, something very simple that we can also learn through. And um, still, I'm also going to keep sharing with you this so that we can be able to access it at a, at a later time. Okay? So please, you go and then you, it can be very helpful to us and then you can be able to access that information. So plus, uh, this will mark the end of our fraction lesson, okay? This is the end of our fraction lesson. Now, what have we really got out? Please go, go and share, go and check through those videos eh? and then you will learn more, okay? You can even learn on your own and also teach someone who is there, okay? So that is the link for the video. And then you can share, okay? You can share it. Just tap that video and it will take you directly to where you're supposed to be, okay? Now, I'm going to, we are going to have um, a test and this test is on fractions, okay? We're going to have a test on fractions and you'll be, I'll be able to see who has, a, who has really understood this, everything as far as the fractions are concerned. Please, in a, in a nutshell, please, when we are working out, take note of adding fractions, okay? Take note of addition, okay? Addition, okay? Uh, subtraction, division, this is what we have looked at, division, and then multiplication, okay? Then changing from uh, from improper improper to mixed fractions and vice versa okay and vice vice versa okay please practice on this okay practice on how you can be able to do carry on these things and also trying to work out fractions in case you have a question within a fraction, how can you be able to answer that, okay? It is basically what we have looked at for those who have just joined us. That is what we have basically shared together with us.
So please take note, we are going to have our, pair, our, our exam, our test, and the test is going to be having uh, the fractions. Uh, there was someone asking about uh, the number, please. If you have a query, those who are asking for the number, that is the number. In case you have, uh, in case you have something, you can try to uh, help, and then you access it. Okay, access any information that you want. Yeah? Okay, thank you very much for attending. Um, I don't know if teacher, teacher, okay, he's not there, but for those for the Google Classroom for the google classroom please you say you send the message on that phone number i've told you please send a message there and then i will be able to link you up to that class okay i've i've, I've, I've put my number there okay i've put my number there you can be able to access that i'll be able to communicate to you and then and you'll be, able, I'll be able, you'll be able to access the whole classroom. Please communicate and then I'll go to, I'll get you the work. You'll find the work there, okay? All right, thank you so much for coming. I wish you a good evening. Uh, there's a geography lesson at four. Uh, nice attendance. See you in the exam, the test that we're going to have next week, okay? Next week we have a test. So prepare for it and you'll be able to uh, be there. All right, I um, uh, wish you well. Miriam, you have something to say? Miriam, you have something to say? Yes, teacher. Yes, your hand is up. Yes. I just wanted to say thank you for that idea. All right, thank you, you're welcome. Okay, um, Seguya, Seguya, Seguya. Please, I've shared my number. Please try to follow up and then I'll communicate to you immediately. Okay. Okay. Thank you so, so much for that. I wish you a good day. May you enjoy your evening.